evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. So I've been waiting a long time to be able to make this video, and tonight's the night I finally get to make it and show everybody my brand new music setup. I am really, really stoked about this. I've been waiting a long time to have this because I've never had a proper music setup like this, probably ever, but it's been certainly a long time since I've had anything even remotely close to this nice of a setup. So I'm really excited to share with everybody my new equipment, my new setup, so um, I want to go and show that to you in a minute, but before I get into that, I have to thank uh, the people who made this possible. I kind of sound like an athlete, don't I? I want to thank all my sponsors, but seriously, um, this would not happen without my amazing wife. She is the one who uh, suggested that we build the record shelf ourselves, finding a nice, sturdy solid shelving unit for vinyl records is at least where we live impossible um i've searched high and low thrift stores any place and you know walmart doesn't have anything that isn't super cheap thrift stores ain't had nothing so she's the one that had the idea to uh build it ourselves she had the specs she had the design um, and she's the one that really kind of spearheaded that whole idea and I'm going to show the shelf to you here very very shortly Also, she's the one that puts up with this taking up half her living room and me buying CDs and vinyl records all the time But that's beside the point as well um, uh, Certainly I have to thank my dad. He came over and helped us put the shelf together now keep in mind None of the three of us are carpenters especially me um my dad has more skill using tools and whatnot than I do. He's the one that had the tools to put this thing together. He brought them over and helped us helped us get everything situated. My wife probably is actually the m most knowledgeable. Her dad is very skilled with woodworking. Uh, my son has two beautiful bookshelves up in his room that my father-in-law made for him. Um, but my father-in-law lives 14 hours away in the state of Maine, so he wasn't exactly on hand to help with this project. So between my wife, my dad, and I, we were able to get this shelf put together. Um, it's not a professional job, but I love it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world because of the two people that put this thing together for me. So, all right, without further ado, we're going to go into the living room. I'm going to show you my new shelf my new CD shelf, my new record player, my whole new setup, so here we go. All right, so right here we go. Here's the brand new setup. This shelf right here, this wooden shelf, is what was built by my wife, my dad, and I, um, as opposed to finding a shelf that was nice and sturdy, which is impossible to do, and considering the fact that uh, I don't have my truck anymore, so if we found something that, was not, that, was, that would be that nice, how do you get it here? So it was really my wife's idea to build this thing. She had the specs, she had the all the numbers figured out, <clears throat> and we somehow managed to put this thing together. I say somehow managed because none of us are carpenters. Um, but as you can see the finished product here, it is standing, it is stable, and I think it looks pretty good. And I would not trade this for anything because my wife and my dad put this together with me. So. It still needs finished, um, either paint or stain. I think paint would cover up the rookie mistakes a little bit better. However, stain would definitely look better. Haven't decided which route I'm going to go there, but as you can see, whole collection fits right on this shelf. We're going to zoom in. These crates right here, this is what I used to house all of my records in, and they were shoved underneath um, tables and on top of... Uh, uh, shelves and whatnot and it was just it was a pain to get to them sometimes and the reason I had him stored on top of shelves is because of her right there likes to lay on the records whenever she gets a chance her and her sister which is the black cat we have roaming around here and also my three-year-old son loves to go through these, these records too so he used to like to climb on top of them so they kind of had to be somewhere that couldn't be sat on so now they're in a nice safe, nice safe home here that cats cannot get up into those little cracks, try as they might, but they can't lay in there. So that is perfect. Plus they are just in a nice vertical position. They're all displayed, easy to access. 
and there we go right here you have the, my first batch which is the a through f lots of great stuff in here I'm not going to go through everything but you got just the essentials here you got some aerosmith beatles uh pat benatar bon jovi phil collins ccr deep purple this one right here this i don't think i've ever showed this on the channel before i got that at goodwill believe it or not <clears throat> looks like it's in good shape but i picked that up at goodwill a while ago could not believe i found that in a thrift store all the way up to f foreigner on the end there of course my favorite album of all time Foo Fighters, There's Nothing Left to Lose. One of the first albums I picked up on vinyl when I started my collection. Because, like I said, it's my favorite album of all time. So, what else would you buy? Over here you've got G through M. you got your Genesis, your Hooters, Kansas, Kiss, Zeppelin, and of course Metallica. Which I swear is like my son's favorite. He loves to come over to this end of the record shelf. And he wants to listen to these Metallica records like every day. Down here we've got the N through Z. Or I guess N through W because the Who are what caps off my collection there. So no I don't own anything by ZZ Top or Yes. But you've got uh, what do we got here? Uh, Joe Perry Project, Police, Pretenders, um... David Lee Roth, Rush, uh, Twisted Sister, Van Halen, of course. Dive it down. First two albums I ever bought. This one right here is before I had a record player. I bought Diver Down just because it was five bucks in this little thrift store. And I love Van Halen. I love that album. So I bought it just basically for the heck of it. And the other one, I found this in an antique store for ten bucks. Um, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry, another album I love from a band I love. First two albums I ever owned right there. Um, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry, Van Halen's Diver Down. Those two actually outdate my owning a record player. So coming up here, well before we come up here, right here is my holiday selection. In my miscellaneous stuff, you got holiday records here. Some, uh, like, records for my son. You've got, uh... Just odd and end kind of thing, soundtrack records and whatnot. You got his uh, Star Wars record right there. You got my Star Trek. So that's the miscellaneous section right there. And uh, my good old handy tape player. I've had this thing since I was about six. Um, I have owned, I don't know, three or four cassette players since then. All of them have crapped out on me. This one still works like a charm. So. What does that tell you? <clears throat> so coming up here, this is my very first record player. It's a boy tone. I don't remember the serial number to it. Decent. It definitely got me started with collecting vinyl records. It was a nice starter record player. Um, now that I kind of know a little bit more what I'm looking for, it's got some features I don't care for. I don't like how the record uh, spins here. It's not got a nice safe platform for the whole record, which I don't like. Uh, this tone arm to me always felt a little on the flimsy side um, And it's just I mean this whole thing here cost us about 250 I want to say we bought this three years ago um, When I first bought it got it home uh, Popped a record on I thought it was playing uh, my vinyl slowly and as uh, I Started popping on more vinyls. I could just everything sounded like it was really slow so we sent it back because it was on warranty and they sent us uh, this one right here and everything sounded as it should. Um, but I've started having the same issue with this. It started playing my records slowly here as of late, which is what led me to the uh, idea that I needed to upgrade my sound system. But I'm keeping this here because the CD player in this thing is actually really good. Sounds fantastic. It's the best CD player I've had in a long, long time. Um, so I'm keeping it to be my CD player. It's also got a little cassette deck on the side here, but that's barely worth mentioning because it's honestly not that good. Over here we have the brand new system. This is a Fluence R281+. Plus. It's got the three, uh, legs there, which I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but it's actually really sturdy. A lot sturdier than I thought it was going to be. 
when I saw the three leg system there, but it's 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 quite nice. As you can see, it's a much sturdier and much nicer looking record player than the boy tone. It's got a whole acrylic mat here for the whole record to rest upon, which is a lot nicer. Tone arm feels a lot better. Um, just a beautiful record player right there. This was about two hundred ninety nine dollars. It uh, I decided to go with the Fluence because in all of my searching uh, for good record players for it within my price range, Fluence was a name that came up just about every single time. And as I looked into them, I uh, decided to go with Fluence. It was also a brand that was recommended to me from uh, John at uh, Vinely Channel. Uh, I will try to link his channel in the description uh, because he's got a great channel and if you are not familiar with it you should go check it out um, but he recommended Fluence amongst a few other things as something that I should look into also these speakers these edifier speakers I forget the serial number to them but these are the speakers that he reviewed on that channel John at Vinely I think that's probably the video that I will link in my description his uh, review of these speakers sold me on these speakers nice um, bookshelf speakers but pretty big sound for the size and it really I mean it sounds fantastic it sounds 200 times better than that one right there so totally totally happy with this um, no complaints easy to put together and for somebody like me who is not good at reading and following written instructions and is by no means a sound expert or anything like that uh, for me to say that it was easy to put together is pretty high praise. So, right there is the new system. Fluence RT81 Plus with the Edifier speakers. Keeping this thing right here because the CD player sounds really, really good. Uh, so, this is my new CD player. Well, it's not my new CD player, but this is now purely 100% my CD player. So, that is the vinyl record shelf. We're going to go over here in a minute to the CD shelf, and I will show you the brand new setup over there. All right, we are back here after a little bit of a break to uh, tend to my dry throat. So, <clears throat> being a little bit better now, like I can continue showing you all this awesome new setup I got. So this is the brand new CD shelf. I ordered this off Amazon and put this together as per the instructions that came with it. My I was afraid when I got this that this was going to be a flimsier piece than I was expecting it to be, but it's actually not. Uh, once you get it all together and got it put up against the wall, nice and square, um, I put a little some cardboard at the bottom there just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere because these floors aren't quite even, but I got it all situated up there. Got the CDs on the shelf. This thing ain't going nowhere, so this is a much sturdier piece than... I was afraid that it might not be. As you can see, I got my Bon Jovi box sets sitting on top of this thing, right where they belong. And all of my CDs finally have a home on this shelf. And as you can see, I've got room to expand. I left these this smaller shelf right here empty for the time being. As you can see, I just pop a CD here. You can still put CDs there as my record or my CD collection expands. But for now, just to kind of try to balance this thing out a little bit, I left that shelf blank. And you come down here, you got some more, and then you got some bottom shelves here that I can expand. So there's plenty of room to expand on, um, which is nice because I'm going to show you in a little bit what I had my CD sitting on. And I have greatly outgrown that space here over the past couple of years. But as you can see here, everything's got a home. Everything is very easy to access. I've gone back to storing my CDs. Uh, where do we want to do this at? Right here. In the jewel case. Um, I used to put them in little CD binders for the longest time. It was easier because I didn't really have a good way of displaying my CDs like this. Uh, but now that they are so easy to access, I feel the best way to store them is to put them back in their jewel cases where they belong. So, happy to be able to do that. So, as you can see, I've got up here the A's, ACDC, Aerosmith, all the way over here, Beatles, uh, Bon Jovi, uh, Breaking Benjamin, all the way over here, you got your Deep Purples, um, 
down here to the Foo Fighters, Goo Goo Dolls, uh, Judas Priest, Kiss right here, Zeppelin, Metallica, Pearl Jam at the corner there. Um, right here's your Peas, Joe Perry Project, uh, Rat, Rush. Over here, the S's, you got Stained on the corner there, Stone Temple Pilots down here, Twisted Sister, Van Halen, all the way to the end here, the very last album alphabetically, Who's Next by The Who. So, all my albums finally have a great place to live. So, I've been so looking forward to this for such a long time. Now, moving on over here, um, right here, this little black shelf right here that has my really awesome tiger lamp on it that's my cassette collection right there down there i just got like miscellaneous uh cd binders that cds used to live in i've since uh put them all back into their actual cases over here this is my christian rock uh section um these top three shelves right here are my christian rock cds your uh casting crown stephen curtis chapman cutlass mercy me third day my favorite christian band right here so that's uh, where i have these stored at and then down here this is my holiday selection um soundtracks right here are stacked as you can see the the uh, star trek on top there and then down there you've got christmas cassette tapes and this little shelf right here this <laughs> uh, you can tell who the big music fiend in this house is this is emily and isaac's my wife and my son this is their combined shelf <laughs> They don't collect CDs at the same rate that I do, but uh, um, they're book people. So <laughs> I'm a, I'm a music person. They're book people. So that's it. These two black shelves. This is what housed all of this, and it did not have room. I had them all on here, stacked, stacked up here, stacked up on top here, and then I just had two ginormous stacks of CDs on top of these shelves that just did not have homes. So, finally, I'm glad to have a spot for all of these to go. So, that's it. That's the tour of my brand new setup. Um, letting y'all in on the... I feel like I have a nickname for this, and I just I can't think of it. But, letting y'all in on the, the fun here. So, I'm going to wrap this thing up um, in just a moment here. Before we wrap this thing up real quick, another thing that... Uh, I didn't mention whenever I talked about us finishing this record shelf here by either painting it or staining it. That's the one thing that we need to do to uh, really finish this thing off. But also to put some sort of decoration on the wall there. That's a pretty plain looking wall. Um, we can't paint it because we live in an apartment. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to put there. I have a Bon Jovi poster upstairs which would I think would look very nice up there. If you've seen my Bon Jovi um, revisiting... Uh, Bounce by Bon Jovi video uh, You'll see that picture that poster in the background. I Got this thing here as most of you probably know who watch my channel. I'm a huge Star Trek nerd I love this movie right here more than the average Star Trek fan does Was thinking that would look good up on the wall there However, it's best for you to see it there doesn't really have anything to do with music, but either way I love it <clears throat> Also got this right here, my uh, Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles <clears throat> buddy of mine, Ed, got this for me a couple years ago. I think this would look that would look good above just about anything. I think. And if there's any drag racing fans out there, how about the King himself, Kenny Bernstein, my favorite drag racer of all time? I think maybe a couple of these would look good. So these are just some of the the uh, posters that I. Um, pull it out to possibly hang up and, and decorate this thing up a little bit so just uh, showing some of that off oh, I didn't show this one right here Star Trek The Next Generation crew so just some things that I pulled out of my drawer that I think would look good above my record player alright now that you guys have seen the the full tour um, to wrap this thing up I did some tallying while I was putting all my CDs and records away in their proper spot I've been asked many times how many CDs and how many records I happen to have in my collection. And, I don't know, I never counted until now. 
So I'm going to give you the numbers that I came up with here. So starting with the cassette tapes, because these are probably the the least impressive numbers, I guess. Uh, I have 68 rock uh, cassette tapes and 47 holiday cassette tapes. So that's a total of 115. Um, my guess, that's a lot more than I thought I had. I thought I had like maybe 50 combined, but apparently I have 115 cassette tapes. So with the vinyl records, my guess, I thought I had maybe 150, um, 200 possibly, but I tallied them up. The rock slash pop slash metal vinyl records I have, 265, and the holiday or miscellaneous that I have is 38, and I have one box set, which is this right here just a little christmas by the fireplace type of box set i got it at goodwill it looked like it was kind of kind of a cool um cool thing to listen to over christmas and i listened to one of them last one of the uh discs in that box set last year it did sound pretty cool so that's a total of 304 between the miscellaneous, the box set, and the rock. So, that's about 100 more than I thought I had. Now with the CDs, my guess was that I had something in the 400s. Uh, the rock, pop, metal section is 515. The Christian rock CDs I have is 81. The holiday CDs I have 36. The soundtracks, 10. And I have three box sets, the two Bon Jovi ones, which is the uh, 2004 uh, 100 mil million Bon Jovi fans can't be wrong. I also have a Crossroads box set, which has a kind of expanded version of the, the uh, Crossroads Greatest Hits. It has a uh, CD of rarities and a uh, DVD that came in with it. And I have a, a box set that I got all the car CDs their first six studio albums that all came in a little box set so those are the three box sets i have that's a total of 645 cds which is about 250 more than i thought i had um and that's not counting emily or isaac's cd that didn't count that uh, their cds as part of mine and i guess i should have said earlier that uh if there's anything that like we all like or that we both like it pretty much goes into my CD collection. Um, my wife's CD collection over here is pretty much stuff that she listens to that I'm not I'm not that into, so uh, that's kind of the difference there. But uh, those are the CDs, those are the numbers. I have 645 CDs, 304 vinyl records, and 115 cassette tapes. So those are the numbers. I'm, I'm quite a ways behind uh, Brandon Snyder, who's got what, uh, 1100 or 1200 uh he's got a lot man he's or is it more than that i forget what number he has he's got a lot and uh, i don't know how many pete pardo has but like whatever you watch see a tranquility he's got that ginormous wall of seas behind him i imagine he has a heck of a lot more than i do so i'm not quite in that that conversation yet i'm not really in a competition either like i don't i don't really care about the numbers i just care about having the music i like on cd or vinyl counting it was pretty cool but honestly at the end of the day i don't really i know it's, it's not a competition or anything so those are the numbers i know i've had people ask me that so i wanted to throw that out there so there you go thank you all for watching um if you like this kind of content give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel where i talk about all these records and all these cds um that are on these new shelves of mine um i post videos pretty much every week talking about all these bands that i love so if you're into that please uh, follow my page and uh, i'll see you in the next video